you see someone, you, you sort of like them or don't like them before there's a word exchange. There's something, I have no idea what it is, but this body language or whatever, I'm arrogant, you're modest, you know. Uh, so that's a major part, just instinct. But before I ever interview the person, in my case, I'm fortunate because I've had uh, a large number of applicants each year, and so I can kind of pick who I think are the best people. And even so, one makes mistakes not infrequently. But you see what kind of laboratory they trained in, what kind of letters of recommendation they have, wh which journals they published in. And sometimes one will take a student who didn't publish anything yet, if the letters are explain why they didn't and why this young person is very promising and so on. So the filtering goes on f first, look, reading the letter, getting letters of recommendation, looking at grade point averages or publications, depending what level of was graduate student or postdoc. And then the chemistry when they come to the laboratory. If, if you invite them to the laboratory, what's the chemistry between them? I also am very fortunate having some extremely talented young people with me, and I let them pass the calipers over these potential applicants too. Mm -hmm. We usually agree pretty much on who we should offer a position, who we should not.